Right, so next we look at the Windows operating system. So the, the origin of the Windows in 1985, Microsoft officially released the first generation of the uh, Windows-based multitasking system. They call it Windows 1.0. Okay, due to the hardware limitation at the time, Windows 1.0 did not draw the expected social attention. So this is, again, as we can uh, imagine, uh, during the, the time 85, uh, not many hardware that, which is as powerful as today uh, and uh, the, they did not play uh, its uh, advantages. However, this, this, this launch, the launch of the operating system indicates that the PC enters the era of the GUI which stands for Graphic Graphical User Interface and in the Graphic User Interface operating system most operating operation objects are represented by icons instead of the command lines okay so before the windows operating system there is there used to be a microsoft dos where the user before you want to use the operating uh, the, the computer you have to learn some basic commands otherwise you you cannot operate a, a computer you know unlike today uh, even though without understanding the uh, the command line uh, with a simple learning of the mouse click you know you can, anyone can just operate the uh, computer uh, which are intuitive and user friendly and can be better meet the actual needs of some users so the overview overview of the windows now microsoft windows is a group of operating system developed by the American multinational technologies company called Microsoft. Now Windows was first introduced by Microsoft in 1985 as a Microsoft DOS simulation environment. Its later version will gradually develop into operating system design mainly for PC and also for server users and came to dominate the world's PC market. Okay, now this is also true up to today. Um, then the the Windows operating system can run multiple different types on of platform, such as PC, uh, mobile devices, uh, servers, and also embedded system. All right, so uh, so Windows 10 they actually also came up with the, the new release called the Windows 10 for the IoT uh, edition. Alright, so if you guys are interested, you can check out this one. Uh, for mobile device, uh, unfortunately, the uh, Windows 10 has uh, has actually shut down the uh, the development, and uh, they want to focus in uh, into the PC. Um, they are most commonly uh, used on PC. Yeah, so this is true. Windows are primarily used in PC and also the server. Now this is the system architecture of Windows. The following figure shows the simplified architecture of the Windows operating systems. So we have something here called the, the system processors. Now system processors are actually those uh, program which actually doesn't require any human interaction and they will automatically run in the background. And especially during the boot up process, uh, the, uh, this, this kind of program will be run automatically. So let me just give you one simple example. Our Windows login uh, interface, the lock on interface. Okay, so this is just one of the many, many examples where it, with it, even without uh, in human interaction, uh, the login interface will definitely be there. And also the graphical in the user interface, the, the whole entire system. All right, so then uh, the next type is called the service uh, processor type. Now the service process type are those uh, program uh, which uh, either we can run it uh, manually or we can run it automatically but the services are actually not essential and then the, the services actually interact with the uh, the subsystem uh, dynamic link library dynamic link library and this is uh, so the processes is designed uh, uh, it's, it's a software which actually talks to the libraries. So in the libraries will then talk to the the actual hardware, okay. Um, and then also we have the application, which is the one like for example the Microsoft Office, the uh, the the Internet Explorer. You know all the application will then talk to the DLL. And then we also have uh, some environment uh, subsystem uh, that also can talk to the uh, the, mic uh, the Windows and also the graphic gra graphical system. 
and this is actually the uh, the hardware stuff so for the hardware stuff I think everyone knows that every time when there's a new hardware that to be installed we have to also make sure that, that there's a proper driver to that can recognize the hardware and then they can read they can actually send some information to the uh, uh, to the to, to the hardware for example a new printer okay right so next we talk about the Windows family okay so in the beginning of the uh, 1985 there, there was the Windows uh, version 1.0 and then uh, Windows actually came into um, uh, into the spotlight of the social uh, in uh, in the in the 90s, okay, in the mid 90s, 93, 94. This is where the time they started to launch Windows 3.1 and 3.11, and this is the time where I started to uh, to pick up the uh, uh, the attention of the uh, of the industry. And uh, at the same time, Windows also came out with the Windows NT edition, which is designed for a corporate. Before the user use the system, you have to log in through the login prompt, and it's all uh, enterprise centric. Okay, and after that, we have the 2000 Windows XP. These are the code name they call it the NT 5.1, and then we have the Server Edition. Uh, this is Windows Server 2000 and uh, 2003, 2008, 2012, and today we are in uh, Windows Server 2016. Right and uh, and also the for the desktop PC is Windows 10, and at one point of time actually Windows also do, did came out with the uh, Windows RT. Uh, Windows RT are uh, the uh, operating system which is designed to run to support ARM processor, okay, not the uh, Intel processor. Most of the the operating system that we did we mentioned earlier they are mostly designed for Windows. Uh, they are designed for Intel. Uh, compatible processor and also Windows at one time it also focuses on the uh, Windows phone um, okay so features of the Windows uh, intuitive and efficient object oriented graphical interface that are easy to learn and use which is very true the most widely used and most compatible operating system uh, worldwide, uh, as it when we say co most compatible, uh, we are referring in terms of the hardware. Uh, for example, most of the gadgets today, most of the Fairfax today supports uh, Microsoft Windows. Okay, you can name it from printers uh, to tablets um, to um, scanners, right? To the memory uh, card reader. Okay, to any kind of Fairfax. They are mostly compatible. Uh, it's unified, friendly, and has a very neat user interface. Various devices, uh, device independent graphical operation, multi user, and also multitasking. Now, the application of Windows um, where do we use Windows? Uh, personal office, okay, definitely. Okay, so every user, uh, most likely, they have a laptop or PC that actually runs on Windows operating system. Uh, in the the server environment, uh, some of the most of the server today, uh, let's say especially the server that that uses the Active Directory services or the uh, DNS services, DHCP file server also runs on Windows. Um, banks, ATMs, the ATM machine itself is actually a mini computer. It, it actually runs on the uh, on the Windows operating system, and also the Windows uh, mobile phones. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, unfortunately Windows has actually shut down this division. Uh, the, they will not further develop the uh, the Windows phone. But remember, once upon a time, the Windows mobile phone was actually uh monopolize the, uh, the the entire uh, industry uh, for smartphones once upon a time 